Hey guys, I know it's been a long time. Um, so my client today, this morning, she was the bleach and tone booked out all day. She had to cancel whatever. And so last night I called it though. I knew she was going to, I was like, my client's going to cancel for tomorrow for whatever reason. I just know it. Um, and so I decided that if that is the case, then I will color my hair because I'm past due and I've been wanting to do it for a while now. And I actually booked myself a day to color my hair on my next Monday that's available, which isn't until like the middle of October. So I'm looking forward to taking the opportunity today to color my hair. So you guys are gonna come along with me to the beauty supply. Okay, so one of my coworkers said that she uses Shinefinity, and I really wanted to try that, but I was just looking, and I feel like, I feel like they don't have like the coppery tone that I want. It's more like blondes, brown, just more like neutral shades, but nothing really of like a coppery tone. So I think I'm gonna stick with what I know and go with Matrix. So I'm gonna go with the copper gold, which I've tried before. The only thing is I don't wanna be too clowny and too orangey. I kind of want it to be like a toned down copper. I used to be very like fire red, like fire orange copper. And I'm not trying to be that right now. Like I'm just trying to be like slightly warm, shift my base a little bit. So I think I'm gonna add some like 6M to my formulation just to like soften it and matte it down a little bit more. So I'm just coming into the salon right now. It's Monday, which means that I'm the only one here today. Nobody else will have been here yet. Which also means that there will have been nobody to walk through the spider webs. Starbucks. Now we're going to start the color now that I have pretty much my haircut done. Now I know normally when I go through and color my hair, I go like, you know, forward like this, but I want it to be very blended. I want it to look pretty soft and natural. I don't want to have like harsh grow out or anything, which I never really do. I mean, my grow out's always pretty easy, but um, I kind of want to go and do some like fall color. I know. I know copper is really popular right now. And honestly, I've had my hair colored very orange. And the more orange my hair is, like, the better it looks on me. But I also am not trying to, like, deal with a lot of grow up. So I'm not going, like, super orange. I just grabbed a color that will just kind of shift my base a little bit. Um, but not, like, be too heavy or anything. Too drastic of a change. By the way, I've changed my Instagram name is no longer Christy at the Cottage because I'm no longer at the Cottage Salon. Um, so my name on Instagram now is Modern Blonde by Christy because I tend to do like more blondes than anything. And I also feel like blondes is always evolving, whether it's lived in platinum um, just like a basic foil, whatever. So that's why I chose to go with modern blonde. All right. Since I tend to be more like a blonding specialist, which is weird because on my YouTube channel, um, those videos don't get as many views, which I always think is just like, that's just crazy to me. I know I need to get some more blonde down in this area because now we just cut like all of my layering off. So we're going to go down quite a bit further than I normally would. All right, are these probably perfect? Probably not, but it's okay. 
So I'm gonna back comb these. And actually, I think I'm gonna break these into two sections. I think that might be a little bit easier. By the way, the foils that I'm using are the big Papa Starstruck ones by Framar, which I love these, especially for like doing a balayage or something like that. Um, it's just nice to get like a foil that covers more depth and like width of the hair than like a tiny foil. can already tell this is gonna be some of my worst foil work so no judging okay we're just trying to get it in there oh my gosh I should have just foiled it the way it used to this is so much harder I cannot see anything, so we're just guessing. Or I'm, I'm looking out the corner of my eye. Make sure you pick up the underneath of this. Look at all of this stuff that if I didn't come back through the underneath, I'd be missing that and that would cause splotchiness. So make sure you're going through and getting the underneath too. two foils and I'm already getting hot all right so again because I'm not going for like a heavy like super tight up here like I normally would I'm only gonna pop in a few foils in the back and then I'm gonna move to the side and start working up this way but I'm still gonna do my hairline foils like how I normally do for some pumpkin spice um I think I'll go one more up the top here I'm not running bleach through the ends because it's already light enough for what I'm wanting to do later, which is toning back down with like warmer copper tones. Now we're gonna go through and do like the foils around the face, around the hairline. And this is something that I don't really like to talk about. But I am getting more gray around my hairline and so I think I'm gonna go through and do a little bit heavier of a blonde weave around my face to blend with these damn grays because son of a bitch, I'm turning 40 this year. I still claim that I'm 27. So I'm turning 40. I'm not happy about it. You know, Lord, thank you for every day that you've blessed me with. Thank you, Lord, for every day that you have given me. And I'm thankful that I do not have more gray hair, Lord. Please do not curse me with more gray hair because I'm complaining about it in this moment, Lord. If you guys knew my family, they're like solid platinum white. Like for the longest I remember, my dad has like platinum white, silver hair. My aunts do. My cousin has like gray hair. She's very young, younger than I am. No kids, not, no Mary, not, no stress. And she has more gray than I do. And so thank you, Lord, that I don't have more, but please do not give me any more either. Thank you. Amen.
And actually, I'm, I'm going to be honest though, you guys, really. I actually like it around my face. And Lord, even though I'm saying that right now, that does not mean that I want to have any more. It just means that I can appreciate what I have. And it doesn't mean that I want more. It just means that I can, I can deal with it. I don't want the Lord to think that I'm vain. And then send me a lesson to learn how to humble myself by giving me more gray hair. I'm not vain, Lord. Thank you for everything that you've blessed me with. hairline foils and I'm gonna wait to do this very last because I know that will process faster and also I need to be able to see so now I'm gonna start going up um, like this way So I'm gonna start working my way up the head this way in this little part section. However, in the areas where I know where my part will fall either on this side or this side, I'm gonna pack the foils in a little bit closer in those areas. So if you're watching this video, I went through and finished foiling up the top right here. You can see that I left some subsections in here, but right in these sides where I part my hair, I'm a little bit closer um, in between. And I went through and I did a live video and I just did this foil. So I ended the live. If you guys watched that. Now I'm going to come through and finish up these few foils right in here. I'm just gonna go through and check some of these foils over here since these were some of the foils that I did 
towards the end of that bowl of bleach that probably is taking a little bit longer to process. Although I am very hot, so yep, actually they're processing pretty good. I'm pretty hot and sweaty, so they might be processing just all right, actually. Let's check this bad boy. Looking good. All right, that's it. All right, so these have been processing for probably like 30 minutes. Um, these are probably only sitting for like 20 minutes or so, and I feel like they're gonna need a little bit longer to sit. Almost there, but not quite. It's always hard washing your hair backwards because you never know like, okay, what, what side is hot and what side is cold. Okay, so I just got done washing my hair and combing it out. Um, I'm gonna go through and put the all over gloss tone on my hair. So I ended up going with Schwarzkopf, which is like a nine coppery tone. I wanna go through and fill my hair first and then I know I'm starting with a lighter color. That's because I'm gonna then go through and do an all over darker tone. So I need to fill my hair a little bit first um, because it's so light. Um, the thing is I'm going to go all over my hair with like a level seven or so, six, seven, a uh, copper gold shade. I know it's going to fill in and darken up these blonde pieces, but my thinking is that over like the next few washes, you know, your hair is so porous, it's going to grab and like take the color and go really like, um, really dark. But I'm, I know when I start washing my hair, those blonde pieces are going to start lightening up quite a bit to be more of like the coppery shade that I want. I want to shift my base a little bit. I'm not going for like a super copper, you know, natural color all over my head, but I do want it to like grab that tone a little bit more. So that's why I decided to go with um, the color sink and hopefully that will do all and if not then we'll go back over it with something else but anyways that's why i'm gonna go through and do a darker shade all over i know it's gonna fill and um darken the blonde pieces but it's porous that so will lighten back up so i'm fine with it so i'm gonna go through now with this level nine I'm like super excited. I have not done copper tones in my hair for like, it's probably been a few years. So I'm excited. So the thing when you're doing uh, like an all over color on yourself, I like to, I don't like to just go to here. I like to bring this all the way like down that way I know that I'm getting for the most part, like even distribution all over. By the way, if you're doing your hair yourself, make sure you take thin sections. Like look at how thin of 
Like I see people going like this and taking huge sections. That's too big. You're not gonna get good saturation. That's when your hair gets splotchy. Look at how my partings might not be perfect, but look at how thin of a section I'm taking about quarter, I don't know, probably like half an inch sections on myself. And because I can see that there's no blonde down in this area really anymore, I'm not worried about coming through here because it's not gonna do anything to this hair. kind of trying to move the hair around to see if I see, find any like little blonde pieces that I need to pull up in my hair. All right, no. So, okay, now we're going to come back over here. And start on this side, which I probably won't record because I don't want this to be too long. Okay, now for the most part that I got my roots done, I'm going to start going through and combing through to make sure that it blends all the way through the ends. So now I have my hair combed through. I'm gonna let this sit. I honestly don't know how long because I'm supposed to have a color here in a few minutes. And I doubt that this will be able to sit long enough for me to wash my hair out. So I might just, she has, I believe she's a first time client. I believe she has short hair. So I might just let this sit and process while I'm foiling her hair. and then go through and wash my hair when she's processing. So we will see. Okay, I've now been coloring my hair. It's like 6.30 at night and I've had this toner in my hair since we left off since like 2.33. So it's been sitting in here all day while I had to do my other client. Um, it is a no lift just deposit so I didn't worry about like it you know, ruining my hair or anything. I will say the toner that I used, I was not expecting it to like be such a bright, like orange color. I thought it was gonna be more of like a soft copper, not orange, which is fine. Cause we're, I'm still doing like a second step and we're going to be toning my hair and uh, going a little bit darker, you know. Okay, so I'm going through and I'm going to do uh, my color all over now, but I'm actually like, even though this is a lot brighter, like you can see how much this tone looks so much better on me than just like uh, brown or blonde or whatever, like orangier tones, I feel like are definitely like my, where my skin sits at its best. But um, we might go through, like we'll see how, Obviously my hair was pretty wet before, so the ends probably weren't able to like grab as much of the color as the top was. So we'll go through and apply this color and see how everything grabs, how does it lift. We're putting this on everywhere. Uh, what I did notice though was that the CG color that I bought was Color Sync. 
I don't use Matrix very often. And the mocha color that I grabbed was permanent. So we'll see how the color lifts. I was just thinking that maybe this would just shift my color a little bit and warm it up. Um, I'm still mixing the two together, so I just don't really know what's gonna happen or how is it gonna look, but we'll just, we'll just see. <clears throat> Come here, my son. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come say hi. Come here. Evan Michelson, come here. As far as having a money piece, I don't want my, around my hairline to go quite as dark as the rest of the hair. So I'm gonna start pulling this aside. And my, my son just called for me and I thought that I would have him make an appearance. Come say hi, honey pie. Come here, come here. Evan Michelson, get over here. Take your hood off. Come down here and say, give a, an appropriate hello. Come here. Come down. Come down. No Xbox for what? a month. Come say hi. Hi. Say, hi, my name is Evan. Nice to meet you. Hi, my name is Evan. Nice to meet you. Look in the camera, please. Look. Can you get your face over here? Look at this cute face. He's just precious. All right. Good job. All right. So I feel like I've got enough of my hairline that I want to leave. Look at how orange, like I'm telling you, it did not look like that on the swatch. Like that is fluorescent. Okay, so all of this is going to be pulled aside. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting this like around my roots and then I'm gonna start combing it all the way down through like the ends of my hair. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna let this process for probably 10 minutes and then I'm gonna go through and start slapping this on the roots like in this area and then I'll comb it down through the ends, but I don't want it to grab too much. Okay, I'm gonna let my hair finish processing for probably like 10, 15 more minutes and then we're going to wash out and see how it looks and if we need to do anything else, then we will. There you go. Okay, so I just got done coloring my hair practically 10 hours later. 
I am actually really happy with how the color turned out. You can see that I have some of those highlights showing through. I haven't actually looked in the back yet, so hopefully that's not bad. But um, so yeah, you can see some of those dimensional dimensional lighter copper pieces in there with that all over color we did it blended the root so any of those heavy like lines that we had before are now like blended out um so i actually was nervous that it was gonna give me hot roots and not warm up through the whole ends of the hair but i'm actually really really happy with how everything lifted and i think the fact that i had so much blonde on my hair before really made a difference with just evening out the tone and everything so here is the color straight and then i'm going to go ahead and style it now all right here's my hair styled i like that i still have lots of dimension in there i'm happy with the color overall i actually really like it it turned out a lot I don't know what I was, I kind of had an idea in mind for what I was expecting. I didn't think I would hit it. I thought I was definitely gonna have hot roots. I don't have hot roots. I mean, my, maybe like, I don't know. I think it's just the light shining directly on it. But for the most part, I feel like it lightened up really nicely. Um, I'm really glad that I added that mocha to the formulation because I feel like if I didn't, then I would have been very much like super clowny, especially in the root area. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, these pieces and the front are probably going to lighten up over like probably the first two times that I wash my hair, it's going to lighten up probably drastically, but I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. Lots of like contrast still. You can see like where those highlighted pieces are, where it's a little bit more vibrant through the color. So yeah, and then uh, let me show you the back. So yeah, I really like how we ended up going through and like putting those layers in. My hair just was so long had no really like not like super long but like the layers in it had no shape it would just hang it didn't like style very nicely so i'm a lot happier with it i might play with it a little bit more but i'm definitely happy with how the layers are falling now so anyways thank you guys so much for watching it took way longer than i thought it was uh than i thought it was going to it's now like almost nine o'clock at night but um i'm definitely very happy with how it turned out i haven't had my hair colored anything beyond just like putting blonde in it for a couple of years i've been wanting to try copper again and i'm really happy with the way that it is so uh don't forget to like and subscribe don't be sad go dye your hair don't be sad go dye your hair don't be sad go dye your hair don't be sad, go dye your hair!